It's raining literally all around the UK. Well, coming from a person that lives in the UK, I can confirm that that is fake news. So I don't know where you're getting your information from. It's, it's like 30 Celsius and hot outside. You mean except in the UK? Well, you just said it's raining all around the UK. It's raining literally all around the UK, you said. Twenty seven Celsius and sunny. <laughs> he got the news from CNN. Weather forecast by CNN. It's raining all over the UK, literally. Now then, where would these deer have gone? They've probably gone up into the hills, haven't they? Got sunburnt today. Hmm. I'm not surprised. It was pretty hot. Well, apparently in, in Essex and well, all across the south of England's got a weather warning for Wednesday: heavy rains, flash flooding, thunderstorms, etc. Twelve thirteen in the game. It's still going to rain in one hour's time. I'd expect to see it starting to cloud over soon. I don't know, Boeing. I've never had it rain in the game before. This is literally the first time. One thing about Call of the Wild is like the rain in it is absolutely amazing, but it never lasts very long. It's really disappointing. Whereas it looks like in this game, the rain can just last all day, which is fantastic. Thirty-four Celsius, eighty percent humidity. No thanks. up here Yeah, the vegetation is, is really good. And the map designs are really nice. Mm. 
no, it's not purely single player. You can play multiplayer, four people on PC, three on PlayStation 5, two on Xbox. Gotta be a drinking zone. Rain. Give me a break. It's not gonna rain. Fake news rain. Uh, how did central license work? You can go. Yeah, you can go all around them. You can kill things. You just can't claim anything. It's true that us English love talking about the weather and moaning if it's either hot or cold. Actually, that's not entirely true. You often get people saying, oh, it's a lovely day, isn't it? They do say that. Does make any sense you have games with a dozen multiplayers? I honestly don't think this is the kind of game where you want loads of people in there. Well, the boar have finally shown up. I just heard a deer or something there. Michael Fish's uh, epic weather forecast. <laughs> That's... Uh, that's boar talk for anyone friendly in Cherno. Oh, spooked mail. Hang on, let's uh, quickly switch objective. Just in case I do manage to somehow bag a kill out of this. It's extremely unlikely. Consider they're all spooked. Why, did they just go up that hill, though? Is that where they just went? Um, you can only have one active mission at a time, yeah. No, we're not going to find them, then. Hmm. 
Well, that va that's a valley that goes all the way around. I think I'll follow the valley then. Might get some need areas. Fun co op, two guys watching. Uh, maybe, I don't know. alerted male. I say I thought I had a, a wolf sound. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds a bit like a T-Rex. <laughs> you see what I mean about the loud creeks? It's anytime you're near water, it drowns out the sound of everything else. T-Rex sounds like because I've watched Jurassic Park. Ooh, grey wolf often drink here. That's interesting. It's like a jungle down here, look at it. Does that, did that unlock the, um, it did as well. We've unlocked all the information about wolves now. Hunting tier five. Drinks at 7 a.m., sleeps the day, eats at 3 p.m., drinks at 7 p.m., sleeps again. As the wolf ages, their fur becomes much more scruffy. That sounds like men in general. This is not, not a great place to hunt down here. It's just so difficult. I mean, look at it. Red deer looks fresh. Red deer calm 300 meters south. Cool. Strain to wind. That will probably be the deer that we pushed over that side, I reckon. So they are there. This is going to be very difficult to spot them. Let me change the objective back. Uh, the animals can attack you. Most of them tend to run away, but... I guess if you got too close, they would. It, it, it's raining. 
actually starting to rain a little bit. It, it's spitting very, very, very lightly. Look, you can just about see it. This is going to rip the encoder completely. Uh, a couple of bugs, not too many. Stuck on scenery bugs. Audio bugs, mostly. Right, so we know the deer went down here somewhere. going to walk right across the scent annoyingly. I presume the male is already up there somewhere. Oh man. They're going to walk into the scent. That's frustrating. Blimey, they've just caught the scent. There they go. Yep. They literally just got got the scent straight off me and went whoosh straight up the hill. That was really annoying. So I've gone up here now. Well, Baz, unlike Call of the Wild, you can't buy anti-deer repellent spray. Which is annoying. Yeah. Right, 13.08. Oh, it's going to rain heavy shortly. Roe deer. Drinking back there. Let's have a look at what they generally do. Oh, I haven't got road here. Generally go for a nap, red deer. White tail deer go for a nap. They're all going to go for a nap. You can actually see the rain hitting the ground, look, see that? Don't think they do that in Call of the Wild. Interesting. That actually looks like cloud, and look, it's got mist as well. So far, so good. And it's come in nice and gentle. Somebody didn't just flick the rain switch, like it's come in gradually. Does the rain hit your gun? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. No, it looks like they missed that trick.
Can you see it on the water there? Mm. They've not modelled the ripples up there. You should see like little ripples coming off. That's a shame. Cheaps out on that bit. It's going to be a break from Tarkov played the last four years on and off. Blimey. Very different kind of game to Tarkov. Tarkov is the most rage inducing game known to man. <laughs> I think the time of day is not good. It's definitely hit the FPS a little bit. It, we've not gone down from 90 to about 70 FPS on the rain. Cod is up there as well. I would I would agree with that. Texture and details just bang on. Look at that. The texture on the trees, like, is not. It's so different. Every tree is, just looks unique. It's really good. Wow, I can't even see a horizon anymore. Look at this. <laughs> That's mad. That has completely transformed the horizon. So I was wondering if we could hit, like, because they came up here. I'm just wondering if we can head them off. Yes, we can. Roe deer male. Okay, put your arms down. Stop being weird. The other side of that ridge, I think. Or maybe they're just there. One star young male. Almost a mature male. Will that do, do you think? 
Let's use tier two gun. Oh, don't start moving, you scumbag. Come on. That's it. Come back this way. Where's the mail gone? Like, where's the mail gone? Oh, he's just, he's at the back though. He's not even bothered. Slightly iron, try and get him. Trouble is from this angle. I'll have to headshot the females. I'm not headshotting on a mission. Small amount of blood. Not good. Not good at all. They are full on legged it. Look at that. Is this what they call heavy range? It's not, is it? So heavy range due in two hours. Is that the one in the leg, Miller? Still down though. Is the adult uh No, nah, there's no way to tell which one is the injured one. There's, it doesn't show it on the um, on the hunter sense at all, and you can only tell when you actually harvest them. mature one for the quest yeah I've not seen a mature one uh, 
That's an adult one. There's a young and adult, but there's no mature one. Oh, I could just go for the headshot then. Yeah, the quest selected. Should we just go for the headshot? There you go. <laughs> that definitely, definitely dropped it. <laughs> oh boy. That just like instant went bunk. Now, it will be instant to see what it gives us in terms of cash and trophy and stuff. Yeah, that was the one from before, shot one. That's what shot one did. But shot two was um yeah that it was straight straight in the left eye missed the brain but uh, i it, it was burger bun at that point wasn't it a little bit low for the brain but it just completely dropped it it quite literally never saw it coming so the sell price of that is 23. Because lost by shot 13, the animal only weighed 17. But I think the first shot had something to do with it as well. Now we could by access to this. It's quite a big area. Let's go and teleport it though. Yeah, I think the penalty is a bit weird because you didn't we didn't really damage the meat that much. Um, was it upstairs or downstairs in this one? The bed's here. Oh wait, there's no, there's no, no, there's no mailbox or anything. So you literally have to do it from back here, then. Meh. Yeah, I think so. I think it's, it's a game mechanic that's designed to punish the headshots. Um, oops. Oh God, what did I just press? Debug game inputs enabled. UI lost inputs. Now game inputs enabled. What did I press? To return, please use console command NRG UI inputs return. What? To toggle visibility of GUI, use shortcut num1. What have I just done? I literally pressed number one next to number one key and this just came up. What? Go away. Literally can't do anything. <laughs> like, no key press is making any difference anymore. Well, I've pressed... I 
press the uh, the one next to the one key that looks like a back tick. Might be the key that I accidentally pressed. But now I, if I press it, nothing happens. Just as now game inputs are enabled, you can use console, fly mode, etc. Which is great, except I've tried numeric one. First thing I did. To return inputs into the UI, please use console command NRG UI inputs return. Escape doesn't do anything. F1 doesn't do anything. I have no idea how I even did this. Literally pressed every key on my keyboard now. NRG UI inputs return. What's going on? Something's happening. It's like I'm outside, but I'm not outside. I'm going to have to Alt F4 this, and it may not even save what I've just done. Is it Control and the 1 next to 1? No. I've already tabbed out and tabbed back in. It's not making any difference. I've pressed 1. I can't bring up the console window because I don't know how. Right, should I say it for the 50th time? I've already pressed numeric keypad 1. I have pressed it. Okay. There it is. There's me pressing it right there. I don't know how to get into console or type the console command or get out of this stupid thing, but... It's like, yeah, I think it's Alt F4 is what it is. And then it probably won't save anything. Why is Alt Enter going to do anything? It's just not even paying attention to my keyboard commands. I've tried it with numlock on and I've tried it with numlock off. It doesn't make any difference. It's like it's just a, it's just ignoring the input now. I think it I'm outside flying around but it's not showing me because I'm in the storage area. Alt F4 it is. Did you pray the num1 button? Smile. Thank you, Fuzzball. I have no idea what I even pressed to do that. Because I, I, the only hand was on the keyboard was the left hand, and it was up near the one key and the back tick key. And I can't imagine what I pressed to get that. No, because the tilde key on my keyboard is down near the enter area. Oh, it's not raining, you scumbag game. It literally did that deliberately so that it could get rid of the rain. Can you believe what it just did? Look, that's the only reason it just did that to me. Was so that it could remove the rain. Unbelievable. So the rain doesn't persist, that's what we just worked out. Boundary. Wait, what's it called? I thought it was called Lely Field or something. Lely Field, Lowland Forest. Which one is it? Which one is it? Coda, Umbra, Aurora, or Door Apex? There's Aurora. So this is padlocked as 
La La Field. Yes, this is Transylvania, but I, I'm trying to work out what area that is to unlock it. Rain conspiracy, it really is. No, I've done the... Oh, no, I haven't actually done the quest. None of them have been locked behind a quest, though. So there's that one. That one, that one. Umbra, Aurora Woods, Private Pass. Like, Aurora Woods is that, I think? I don't want to buy the wrong one. It's like four and a half grand to go, you know? Still no rain. It's come back game. Why is it red apart from the others? Because it's padlocked, I think. I think that's why. Lelel means tulips. So look, permission to hunt required, which is fine, except which one is it? You've discovered Transylvanian Lowlands Habitat. The lower... Transylvanian Lowlands Habitat, it calls itself. just doesn't relate to any of these. That's just so weird. Yeah, but none of these say Lowlands Forest on them. Well, the only mission that we have for that is that one, I think. I think it was that one, wasn't it? The boar. It says reward a thousand. Yeah, it's all in game money. Um, so they will eat at five, drink at nine. So we know we have a drinking area here. What about this one? Drinking area here at nine. These cabins like that, it's, to get across there is going to take a long drive. There's no way I ever put a marker there. That's a lie. Well, we'll try and get the boar then. So according to this, you may go and drink there. That was a complete rain conspiracy. Somehow I put it into like a, a weird developer mode and they couldn't get out of it. I can't believe though when you, when you 
leave the game and come back, the weather's just randomized again. Like it didn't persist it in any way. Restart. I could keep sleeping until it rains again. I think it was a debug. It was definitely a message that would make sense to a dev. It probably won't be on the final build, but it was it was still enabled on the pre-release. It's not really the Twitch encoding that's bad at Dense Forest. It's encoders in general. It's nothing... It's not so much to do with the encoder. It's to do with the bitrate that the encoder has available. You know, if I was streaming at twice the bitrate, you'd see a much better image. It's also the codec as well. If they ever switch to a better codec, you'll get a better view. But if I, you know, if I walk along like that, you'll get a much better image than if I walk along like that. And you've got lots of moving vegetation. It'll look, when you watch this back on YouTube, right, when it's on Squirrel Plus, it will, will be a lot better because the YouTube video is at a much higher bit rate than uh, what you watch live. Which is another reason why I put things on YouTube because I record them locally while I'm streaming. I record it locally at a much higher bit rate. So when I put that on YouTube, you'll see a much better image. Yeah, I'm liking this game. It's got some niggles, but, you know, most games do. The problem with wild boar is you either have to happen upon them, or almost scare them as walking around you just scare them out and then track them very hard to just go and find so there's a need zone here for them and they should be here soon if they're going to come here You got a new computer. Noise. So I don't have any feeding zones or sleeping zones for boars, so I don't know where they're going to come from. to be a big shot streamer lol <laughs>
They kindly gave me a pre-release key via Games Planet. Yeah, well, there are there is a ball caller, but it's only two hundred meter range effective, and I don't even know if the balls are here yet. That's the problem. That is going to be a tricky objective, that one. That ball one. <laughs> what did I do? Where did the key come from? Games Planet. There are no tents, no, no placeables. Black bar, where do we even find them? Looks like afternoon to evening is the best time to hunt a black bar. 5 to 7 pm. Don't think we even have a map marker for them yet, do we? They're probably like right up there at the top of the map. Yeah, I ain't got time to explore this map. I think I'm going to change back to the other one and go and hunt some moose or something. Maps are huge. I need to explore that map more. Twelve thirty-one a.m. See, I've just got a feeling there must be some more cabins around here somewhere. We just bought this, didn't we? Feeding zone there. Five AM, seven PM. So they go for about a nosh, then they go for a drink at nine. So if we come in in early morning. DK Trucker, thank you for 53 months. Okay, we've got a good wind as well. Have we got any objective for moose? Completed, taste the world, let's get rid of that. What is wrong with this thing? see this if I click on this watch what happens it expands this so I can't collapse this because it collapses that one 
Like, what the heck? Solve the first riddle and find the chest. I can't remember what this one was. Scorp meat, goose meat, deer management. Okay, we don't have any, um, any mission that applies. I kind of think that it would probably work if you used a controller. Like, if you work your way through it with a controller, it might work. I'm alright, Andy. How are you doing, sir? Can we get down there without dying? Uh, Joan Mill, thank you for 74 months. Andy, have you seen the plane I'm flying now? I don't know if you've been here for a while. I'm sure you. Dirk might have mentioned it. Got picked somewhere, one sec. There it is. I'll show you. Checked out on it last week, so I'm flying. Flying that now. Just waiting for it to be not so stupidly hot. Uh, it's a TB200. So it's a fixed gear turbo uh, variable pitch, 200 horsepower. It, 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 it goes. <laughs> it climbs like a rocket ship. It can do 1,500 feet a minute in the climb. It normally cruises at around 120. So it... it Definitely gets around. It's IFR equipped. It has two Garmin G5s, you know, the little digital ones. So the top one has the attitude digital ticker and all the rest of it. The one underneath uh, generally displays like the VOR navigation and stuff. And then it has a Garmin GTN 750. So it's very well spec for IFR. The only thing that's not working at the moment is the autopilot. When the group can afford a Garmin autopilot, they're going to get that fitted. And at that point, it will just be gravy flying that thing. I don't see many mooses around, do you? But it's a nice plane. It flies really well. It's just, uh, it's so quick that you have to, <laughs> you have to be ahead of the aircraft all the time. You know, particularly when you're descending, because you're descending at 150 knots. So when you start, if, when you start approaching an airfield, it's based at Earl's Cone, EGSR. When you're starting to approach an airfield, you really have to start descending much earlier, because you're doing like every thousand feet, you need at least what five, six miles. And you've really got to come down and, you, and then you're doing 150 knots then you've got to slow down to circuit speed at 90 so you've got to shave all that speed off so it, you do have to think ahead it's not like a Cessna what weapons have I mounted just uh, a rocket launcher at the moment I'm trying to get a second and A10 gun to put on the front. Joe Mill, thank you for 74 if I didn't say already. Let's see if we can find some uh, moves around this place. down to Durker at some point soon. Although he lives in a... Actually, it's not so bad where he is now. It's just the airspace around there is annoying. Uh, 
Just something I like. Something that's all. Seven thirty four AM. They should have eaten here, maybe. And then they go for a drink. So they've either gone that way, which is no good for me because they're downwind. So I'm going to have to track this way. Wasn't there a hunting thing somewhere? That's back there. That's no good. I'm good, thank you, Simon. Get away before I make some Chinese food out here. Duck and noodles. Um, I think, like, I did start my... I don't think I'm going to do the full instrument rating, Andy, for a couple of reasons. One, it's 45 hours of training, right? That's a lot of money. If you get it, you then have to renew it every year. So that's even more money. And in terms of how much value I'd get out of it, I'm not trying to be a commercial pilot, so I, I don't think it's worth me doing it. I think what is worth doing is the restricted instrument rating. You know, the UK IRR. That's only 15 hours. And that allows me to fly in adverse conditions. Um, you have higher minimums and you can't fly in Class A airspace, and it only applies to the UK, but it lets you fly IR, it lets you fly in instrument conditions and IMC, so it's kind of worth having. For 15 hours of training, it gives you a lot more options. You can, you can basically take off and land when a VFR pilot just cannot. And it's also a safety margin, so you know if I get weathered out, I could probably come back to South End or something and just shoot an instrument approach and go back in and I think that will be enough for me so it, I'm going to get comfortable in the plane it may be something I do next year um, I want to get my hours up in the plane I want to become a lot more comfortable with it so that when I do my IR in that plane I'm not thinking about the aircraft anymore and that's the other thing is like when you're in a flying group you change aircraft a lot and they're all different they all have slightly different equipment you know some things are in up etc. In this, it's like one plane. Yeah, I did the night racing, but I think that the IRR would be extremely useful. And if I just do it in the one plane, and it's so well equipped that it actually makes the instrument rating a lot easier. Like that Garmin calculates all the wind drift and stuff. So it just makes life so much easier. Like going into a hole or something, it's going to calculate the wind drift automatically you don't have to allow for it you just follow the magenta bit well i'm not seeing much around this morning sure has gone quiet around here i do not own a plane and i have no intention i have no intention of owning a plane no i i have a share in a plane that's all aha well, hello there, sir. One star. Is that the best we can do? One star rated Mr. Moose. Currently 200 meters away and moving. Don't see anything better, though. Hmm. 
Well, he's not sure what to do right now. There, he's dead. Right there, you see it? That is definitely a lung hit, possibly a lung and an artery. I doubt we got collateral out of that. On the other side, don't you have to do it all the old fashioned way? No GPS, no autopilot, just for your own eyeless. Um, you can use autopilot. There's certain um, times when you can use autopilot, but yeah, realistically, it's not going to happen because it's not working anyway. You do have to do on ILS. You do have to do a VOR or an NDB hold. I can't remember which. <laughs> GPS is absolutely fine to use. The only restriction really is that you have to have the, um, the cone of shame on so that you've got simulated uh, instrument conditions. But there's some theory as well, I think, that you have to do. There's a, I think there's an exam for the IIR. There's certainly some theory. But, you know, the 15 hours, if you do the IIR, the 15 hours counts towards the 45. So if you then go on to do the full instrument rating, you're already 15 hours in. You know, so you've just got the 30 left. Plus more training, obviously. But like I say, I don't think I don't think that's something I'm going to push onto. Just because of the cost and value. Like if somebody else wanted to pay, that'd be fine. But he dropped here somewhere, didn't he? Oh, we saw him go sleepy, sleepy here. That's a bit weird. Oh, he collapsed in that bush. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Lungs and liver. So straight through both lungs. Yeah, it hit a little bit rear, that one, didn't it? I think he was still moving. Not an ideal shot, but left lung, liver, <laughs> right lung. Just about forward enough to get a good kill. Good sale price, though. Yes, it does have multiplayer. Uh, Trucker Paul, thank you for 14 months. Catching up with the big boys. Oh, yeah. 406 kilograms. One star rated. 62 lost. 892. That's a good price. I'll take that. What ratings do I have? Just PPL and night rating at the moment. I don't have any instrument ratings. Yeah, I, just, I did need to be slightly to the left. Like I say, he was moving and I just didn't compensate properly, I think. But, you know, the main thing is that I didn't get a gut shot and it didn't suffer. Let's see if we can see anything else up here. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 hunting. It's completely different to Red Dead 2 hunting. Two days ago, you can't wait to play it. Yep, you'll be playing it on Tuesday. So the, 
the, the audio is just they need to mix it better it's just way too loud eating zone. It's nice to find another one. Let me turn that down. That's way too loud. Well, at least we know they come through here for some uh, snackage. Can't see like the graphics. Blimey. How could they improve the graphics exactly? <laughs> They're talking of a day one patch on the Discord. Probably for bug fixes, though. Not really quality of life stuff, I think. That wind has just shifted, hasn't it? That wind was like from the north at one point. It's just completely turned around. RTX on. Explain what RTX is to me, please. Explain why you need it on. What does that mean, RTX on? That's excellent, it's mostly ray trace, and what does that give you? I don't care about the ducks. Come on, there must be some more mooses around there. Ray trace is a method, lights and shadows collide in the game. It's almost like you just Google and lifted that copy paste. Do you work for NVIDIA? And how does DLSS improve frame rates? So the problem is, is people swallow NVIDIA marketing, machine learning. Is that how they do it? It's just machine learning. People swallow marketing from NVIDIA and they don't actually understand what's going on. NVIDIA is really good at getting people to go around going, oh, I need to RTX on and DLSS. Why? Oh, yeah, cause I, well, because I'll get better frames and uh, uh, it'll be better. It should be better. Yeah. AI. AI. Machine learning. That's why. Yeah. See? I got this. DLSS is like a technology that is clever, but it's designed to it's designed to trick your brain is, is the best way I can phrase it. So what it actually does is they feed a load of like high res video to an to a neural network. And what it does is it analyzes it and it says, well if I if I basically change this stuff here and just approximate it your brain your eye won't notice it so i don't need to calculate that in so much detail because the brain won't perceive a difference and that's how it very cleverly i'm not saying it isn't clever it is but it very cleverly 
reduces the workload on the graphics card because it approximates stuff that your eye doesn't notice. So the image is not as good, but it doesn't matter because your brain doesn't really see it, if that makes sense. And that's what DLS does. So if you've got a lesser capable machine, you can still crank up the quality of the image and keep the frame rates because what it does is not calculate stuff that your brain won't really notice. So the image quality is still reduced, but your eye won't see it. And they call it deep learning super sampling or DLSS because the neural engine has to be fed lots of high res images in order to calculate by learning what your what it can not do that your brain won't notice. Put it that way. Uh, Train Sim Fan Carl, thank you for 29 months. But if you've just got a stonking machine, you don't need DLSS. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So don't be thinking, oh, I've got an amazing PC, and if I turn DLS on, I'm going to get better frames. That's not true. If your machine is already capable of doing the job without DLSS, you're better not having it on in the first place. I'm stuck again. There we go. I can't find any more moose to shoot. Oh. Tell a lie. That's one of the day, probably. What was he, 170 something? 165. Oh, there's another male uh, running past him. There yeah, he's done. He's Burger Bun right there. This guy's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's just full on gone for it. <laughs> Are there plenty of guns in the game? Um, There's about 10 rifles and three shotguns. Not, not a huge amount, but enough. There's enough here to keep you playing until they release more stuff. Let's play that one. Oh, when did Mr. Squirrel actually stealth a cup of tea right next to me? up there. It's actually not lava hot, it's actually drinkable. Okay, so that is flesh, bone, left lung with optimum energy, right lung with reasonable energy. So that's massive lung damage look at that both lungs both bleeding just huge amounts of lung damage right there there's no way it's getting out of that one straight through one star 446 kilos and it's young can you believe it 446 kilos only lost 72 on the meat Sell that for 971. And that leaves 6,600. So enough for another game pass. There's definitely more females up there, but sadly, I think we've run out of time here. Boys and girls. That is it. 
Well, that was a fun weekend playing this uh, pre-release. Thank you to That's Games it, Planet. Man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Flint. Yeah, so thanks to Games Planet and also to the devs of this game for giving them a key so that I could stream that. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that playthrough. It comes out on Tuesday. Uh, if you want to buy it, run the W-O-T-H command and um, use that code. You get 10% off the base game and 19% off the Elite Edition. The Elite Edition has the, um, the Season Pass, so you get the future maps and stuff. The multiplayer, if and when I find somebody who's got the game, I'll try it. I haven't tried it yet. But it's out on Tuesday. Pretty big maps, not even explored. Like, that's all we've done this weekend is that. So I've not even been over this entire half of the map yet. So there's lots more to do. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Does the website give you PS5 discounts? I actually don't know. I don't know if Games Planet sells the PlayStation 5 key. Uh, click on the link and have a look. I, I genuinely don't know the answer to that question. Maybe somebody in chat can uh, advise. Just have a look at what platforms they sell it on. I really don't know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for your support. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. And uh, I shall see you all in a few days' time. It seems to be only Steam, says Kalaran. PC only. Fair enough. Okay. The Games Planet tends to only sell PC keys, I think. Well, I wasn't sure. Oh, you're welcome, Von Kel. Um, cause get some GGs and chats from the mod team. They modded this, this weekend. We're a little bit thin on the ground at the moment with mods because uh, some are on holiday. Some are enjoying themselves. It's summer, right? But uh, some of the guys are stepping up and doing overtime and stuff. So appreciate your support for them. But yeah, I shall see you all in a few days. So have a cracking week. Uh, hopefully we'll get some rain, eh? That'd be nice. <laughs> anyway, take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night. <laughs>